Welcome back to Acadiana's Morning News. We're coming up on a big day, Bernie. There is a big day coming up. Yes, sir, indeed. Two days from now, Data Privacy Day. And Shereen mm-hmm. Gott from the BBB, Better Business Bureau of Acadiana, joins us. Good morning. Oh, I thought you were talking about Mardi Gras. Well, oh, you know that. it's That's coming up time too. too. <laughs> but let's just say no one's going to steal my personal information or open credit cards when I go to a Mardi no, Gras No, but maybe I should think about celebrating uh, Data Privacy Day on January 28th and we could throw beads. We so could. Maybe people would pay attention. Change to your, it. That's change your password point. from password and you get some beads. Uh, how, how, how about Mardi Gras 2017? What a concept. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is obviously a big deal. We, we feel like we hear more and more. And I don't know if we've talked about this, you and, you and me, but, you know, with, with different services that monitor your credit reports and different other privacy things, there are a lot of them out there. Um, it seems to me that we're getting to a place I was part of the big uh, Home Depot thing when Home Depot had the credit card breach. And so I have like two years of this monthly monitoring or whatever. I just feel like we're getting to a time and place where everyone's just got to have it like insurance. Not me. I mean, I don't think that. You don't think so? It's okay if I disagree. No, it's totally okay. That's why we have you on. It would be a very boring show if it was just me. Well, and you know, um, I I surf the net and I'm kind of techie and, mm-hmm. you know, baby boomers are and... Um, I think if you're safe and you're careful, most of the time things won't happen. The Home Depot thing and some breaches like JCPenney's and some others we know, it happens. Mm-hmm. I think things happen. It's a different kind of world. And we. Th- I think my opinion is is that we take this stuff for granted that somebody else is going to take care of us. Mm-hmm. But I think I've said this before over and over again, and through the years I know Bernie's heard me here say <laughs> yeah. this, the best person to take care of you is you. Yeah, makes sense. So let me let me tell you some stuff. So about uh, data privacy um, day on January 28th, there's two concepts to this. There's for businesses. What can businesses do to help protect your privacy, right? Uh-huh. And then there's consumers. And we're all consumers. Businesses are consumers. You know, residents are consumers. We're all consumers. So what can you do to protect your own um, privacy? And one of the things that um, people forget to say about the Better Business Bureau is if you're a accredited business, you know, you can have an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau but not be accredited. When you have that accredited uh, mark, there's that seal, that's their BBB, what happens is you have to meet certain standards. One of the standards is privacy. You have to maintain stringent privacy, and that's just one of the standards that we have. Mm-hmm. So you have to do certain things for your customer. So we know that um, when you go to a BBB site – and I'm sure there are others, and it says that they're accredited. That means you can you don't have to be as careful. Gotcha. Okay. You don't have to be as vigilant. You mm-hmm. always need to be careful, but you don't have to be as vigilant. Do you, you have trust, and that's what we our little uh, logo says. Start with trust. Well, and hasn't you know basically when you think about okay, big things that could happen if your privacy is breached, credit right. cards being opened, um, checking accounts being used without your knowledge, are institutions also becoming a little bit easier to deal with because I feel like there was a time where, you know, you might have $500 gone from your checking account and they, your bank would say, okay, well, we're going to put a hold on it and investigate it. Now no. it's, e- it's way easier. I now, don't right? think so. I'm shaking my head and y'all can't see this. But, <laughs> um, so I'm shaking my head. And so I guess we're going to butt heads on this again, because yeah. what I'm saying is, okay, so now I just gave y'all out there listening a tip. Yes. If you want to shop uh, carefully and, and mom and pops, they have to meet this privacy. So uh-huh. that's the first step. Then the second step is to know that your computer is going to have issues at some time. Okay. It's a me thing. We have to take care of ourselves. Okay. We don't need anybody else taking care of us. Yeah, I get so it. So what you need is your best friend needs to, for computer-wise, needs to be, if you have a computer, an IT person. So where in the world, I see on Facebook people asking all kinds of things. And if I get a chance, who should I go to? Who, should, who can I trust? This and that. And word of mouth is good. But everybody's known me here forever. If they're an accredited business, they have to meet standards. Go to BBB.org or go to um, BBB.org forward slash Acadiana and look for those people. Now, what can you do to protect yourself? First of all, you can be aware. Don't press the snooze button. Don't get click happy. Mm -hmm. Think about what you're doing before you do it. Nobody is supposed to take care of you but you. I I don't know how often I can say this. So what I want to tell you is, is, if you're going on a site and it doesn't say HTTPS, 
for secure. When you put in your credit card information, then guess what? It's not going to be safe. That That's that little secure encrypted part of that. Also, you need to know that um, when you're doing something on a computer, that if there is a virus or if there is a malware, you need to know the scams around that. Microsoft doesn't call you and say, look, um, I have this protection, or they don't pop up on your computer, nothing like that. And don't click something if you're not sure. Mm -hmm. That's the first, I mean, that's one of the things. And then also regularly change passwords. This is a different era. I hate changing passwords. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I hate changing passwords. So what I do, I have Outlook. I don't know how many people have Outlook or they have something where they can put your notes. Mm -hmm. Store, you know, or a tablet or whatever you want to use, put your passwords there and change them every six months or something. Okay. That'll help. That's a me thing. That's what I can do. But are you worried about someone getting getting your list that says passwords? So if they come into my house in the middle of the night, they might have surprises. No, they can't yeah. have my password. <laughs> okay. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. And if you lose your phone, about that. Yeah. if you lose your phone and you don't have a password on it to protect your phone, you're asking for trouble. That's right. a me thing. That is another me thing. I know that. And protect businesses? yourself as the bottom line. Right? Well, Try let's to protect say yourself. be aware. Okay, the first be aware. rule in life is be aware. And then okay. the other thing is if you're on the internet on your face and you're on Facebook and you're looking to do business on Facebook, and you give them a credit card number on something on Facebook, uh-huh. there is no HTTPS there. Mm-hmm. It's not protected. Makes sense. I mean, uh, to me, that's stupidity. You're yeah. asking for trouble. If you put your private information in emails, if you just leave it, and if you don't have a password on your phone, it is a pain. But if somebody steals that, then they can see all your good stuff, personal information, anything mm-hmm. like that. And businesses... If you're doing business with a, um, and it's, you go to the website and you go to about and there is no uh, address, there's just an email address on how to get in touch with them, Mm -hmm. that's a sure sign that something's a little off. If if I'm going to do business with some company on, um, the first thing I do if I'm on in the internet and I don't know who they are, I don't always go to BBB, I have to be honest, but the first thing I do is go about the business. And if it doesn't have exactly where they are, I mean, like, you know, no P.O. box, physical address. I want to know what they're going to do for me, how they're where they are. Very interesting. All businesses are not created equally. Mm -hmm. Some are. I I just heard about this scam this week and that this business was created to sell something that they didn't even have to sell. And they made a million dollars because people were stupid enough to buy it on the Internet. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Scary times. It's not scary. People wake Shireen up. Just, Shireen, she's schooling me today. She's schooling me. Maybe I needed to be because <laughs> I do have this. You know what? I, I'll admit. I do have this false sense that if something were to happen in this day and age, it seems like it's much easier to fix than in times in the past. But it shouldn't put it on the banks. Fix. I it, should do it for myself. It? Doesn't it take why like a minimum just... of a year usually? A minimum of a year. Okay, so I am all over. I mean, you know, we're like computer savvy at the mm-hmm. office. We yeah. have two monitors, the latest computers. <laughs> I have an iPad. I have a laptop. Um, I have a smartphone. I just got this a seven, an iPhone 7. I have all this stuff. And I, I, I don't want to jinx myself, but I've never had a problem. Mm-hmm. I've had threats that things, you know, my sure. virus yes. has stopped and things like that. I'm just your average person. I'm not any more diligent. I'm lazy about changing passwords, too. But I know that, you know, I don't use the same password. I, You know, um, yeah. come on, folks. <laughs> okay. it, it has to do with your age, too. <laughs> so if you're a baby boomer, you take yeah. care of yourself. Yeah. As you've been trained through the years <laughs> when you're younger, somebody usually takes care of you. You're right. I'm here to tell you fixing stuff is a pain in the drain. Gotcha. If you're diligent and you don't have to go through any of that, why waste your time on that when I could catch Marty Raw beef? Shereen, That's God. an excellent point. Always mm-hmm. with great information from Better Business Bureau of mm-hmm. Acadiana. That give us your so website one more time. If you need information, give us a call at 981-3497. You can always go to our website at um, bbb.org um, slash Acadiana. Um, uh, we do have a Facebook page that is pretty nifty, but there's no email. Uh, there's no credit cards taken. <laughs> Search. <laughs> Search. 
For our Better Business Bureau of Acadiana, like us. And if you want the neatest scams, if you want the best tips, like us, and they'll send it to you automatically. Nice. All right. I have a lot of work to do, Bernie. <laughs> Barely. Cancel, cancel well, we need all my to meetings talk for today. more often. <laughs> yes. So who else is listening to this that needs to hear I, it out I, there? I think we need to we need to start changing passwords, guys. No, we need to be more Pain diligent. in the drain, though, is the, is the trademark. Boy, if y'all segment. could Appreciate see it. how she was working... I'm not saying something maybe <laughs> else. Well, I did. I, you know, it's what you want to do is take care of yourself. And these days and age, you want to make sure you have your insurance. You want to make sure the company is good. If you're going to buy a refrigerator, it is, it's a lot of work. But if you start with trust, it's not so much work. All right. Shereen Gott, appreciate it. your time. Thank you. Always. Thank you. 7.53 now. We're back after this.